Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing my, I feel like I'm not in frame, <laughs> I'm going to be doing my July wrap up, I'm very excited, uh, I mean I'm not that excited, but yeah, I'm going to be doing my July wrap up, talking about the books that I read in July. First book that I finished in July is um, Blue, Lily, Blue, 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 Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater, and yeah, this is the third book in the Raven Cycle series, I started it in June and what day did I finish it? I finished it on July 6th and then after that Oops. I don't have my camera properly on the tripod because it's charging which is probably not wise okay it's still not all that secure but uh, we're fine so then I read Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater which is the fourth book in the Raven Cycle series I didn't say what ratings I gave these I think I gave this one a 4 star and this one a 5 star. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then I read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, and I got that from the library. I gave it 3 stars. Wait, that's not what I read next. I read Queens of Geek next, which I really liked, um, but it, it wasn't amazing. It was really just kind of chill. So I gave it um, 3 stars. And then I read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I gave three stars. And then I read Little Women, which I own, which I gave four stars. I, ah, yeah, this was really good. This was the book I read during the Booktubeathon, and I loved it. It was, I was so blown away by it. But there are reasons why I didn't give it a five star, and I'm gonna make a video about that. So that is what I read and I think I'll put my wrap up in this video as well I can always just crop it and make it two videos if I want to but yeah so let's see what I want to read I have a goodreads list because I'm organized I decided to do this new thing where I um, read one book off my TBR shelf like physical books that I own that I have not read and then um, and I can't, like, it doesn't count if I, like, go and buy a book. That doesn't count. It, like, has to have been on my shelf. Um, and then I will read a classic or, like, a, a piece of, like, literature. And then I'll read, um, I can do a reread if I want. I don't have to do the reread. Re Technically, I don't have to do any of those. But the reread is just kind of, like, a fun thing to do. I can read any other book I want as well. Obviously, I can, I can do whatever I want. The first book hmm, that I'm planning to read is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. This book I've had on my TBR shelf since April, but I said to myself when I bought it, I was like, save it for August. It's a road trip book. You're gonna like it better. You're gonna enjoy it more if you read it during the summer. So I have to read it this month, otherwise I'll be mad. And I'm allowed to DNF it if I want, um, but I have to give it a shot. So yeah. Then the classic I'm planning to read, I was gonna read The Old Man and the Sea, but then my mom was like, you have to read The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I was like, fine. So my mom says I should read that, and I think I will, because obviously like with the new TV show, there's like all sorts of hype, and it's about like feminism and stuff. Um, so that's, you know, and I know it's not technically a classic, but it is like a piece of literature. And, you know, Margaret Atwood's a pretty cool gal. She's Canadian. Okay, and then the book that I want to reread is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allery Psalms. I always feel like I'm going to say his name wrong, even though I'm pretty sure I know how to say it. Okay, and then I have just a couple more books that I'd like to read. First book is A Quiet Kind of I had a focus. We're good. A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. And this book is about a deaf person and a mute person. I'm not sure if the. Okay, it says um, Steffi doesn't talk, Rise, which apparently is called pronounced Reese. No, thank you. You're crazy. Um, Rise can't hear. They understand each other perfectly. So I don't know if Steffi is mute or is just like really shy, but yeah. And look how cool this book is. I knew I was going to buy it instead of borrow it from the library. 
because <laughs> look at it it's so pretty it's got like gold foil and then on the inside they have um bsl like not keyboard what is the word i'm looking for alphabet uh, yeah one thing that i kind of hate about it is it's got this ugly sticker on it that tells you it was reviewed by zoella and it's like i don't care <gasps> you can take it off So, I really want to read None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. What is so funny? It's a book about an intersex person. And I really want to be more educated on the topic of intersex because I don't know a lot about it. And I want to because I want to be educated on that. And apparently, I've heard that this book isn't great, like, story-wise. Um, but apparently it's very educational and informational, which is what I want. This is a long video, just this clip alone is 8 minutes, and so yeah, I'm gonna go shrink it down into my editing machine, and I hope you have a really great day, and I keep s <laughs> I've been saying I get back to reading for the past, like, 5 videos, so, that's, I feel like that's what I should say. I don't know, oh yeah, cue the end screen. Just the guitar, okay, cool.